Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, you saucy devils. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushka, and rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. I'm fit, fair, and a danger to shipping. Uh, I am out and about and doing it in a, uh, well, I'd say debonair, but there's not much debonair about a six foot five bald Australian having a cup of licorice tea to calm his nerves on a hot and heady Monday afternoon. No. But I thought I'd do a few replays. Uh, if you have any replays, send them to me, bushkagaming at gmail.com, and I'll uh, do more replays. Look, there's a buttocks load of reasons why I haven't done a lot of videos lately. But the biggest one is just, Jesus, I've been pretty tired and uh, I'm a lazy bastard. Let's just leave it at that and move on with life. And uh, we'll never mention it again. <laughs> at least I won't. Uh, I will hasten to add that, yes, all the people saying, will you be coming back to Blitz now that ATGMs are getting the ass? Well, yes, that's certainly going to have a very positive effect on my outlook vis-a-vis -vis playing World of Tanks Blitz. Uh, it's no secret to anyone that I campaigned hot, hard, and heavy for how bollocks and absolutely rubbish the addition of guided missiles was to the game. I was unequivocally uh, negative. I told everyone that would listen that it was a stupid effing idea and that it was the worst thing you could do. And yeah, no surprise to anyone. Uh, six months later, we're getting rid of ATGM. So it's great to see that Wargaming are doing that, and I'll certainly play more games because of it. This is a replay from Help. I'm a bug. He's a great bloke, and he's been around the channel for a while. And if you want to send a replay in, send it to bushkagaming at gmail.com, and I might well feature it. Bushkagaming at gmail.com. Jeez, I don't know if anyone still watches this channel. We'll, we'll see. Is there anyone out there? Hello? Hello? Is this thing even on? Help, I'm a bug is absolutely going ham here on the top of the Castilla range. This is where the metal meets the road. Look at him. Look at him. What a great looking bloke. This is the FV301, I believe. I right, look, I've been away so long, I can't even remember the name of the tanks. This could be a Stritzwagen 75 Pinot Noir. I wouldn't know. I'm just a big empty vessel. Still, we're going to talk about it. Uh, there is also a lot of chat going on here in the game uh, where there are many people saying nasty things to each other. But Help of a Bug isn't perturbed by that. He's just pounding. FV301, see, I told you, I know stuff. He gets in a Soul Breaker. Soul Breaker takes a tap, tap, tap a -roo, And Help of a Bug is having a whale of a time here in this Brit light. Just looking to get a little bit more. Oh, hello, that's a low hit point target. He's got four kills. He's thinking rats. It's Russ time. You say Russ, I say Russ. We all say, Grrr. get him in here. I want to buff him. Uh, and he's taking to the, oh, how dare you, Leo? How dare you, little buddy in the Leo? You just took away one man's Russ, and he's deserved it. 3,000 damage so far by helping the bug as he cruises for a bruising at 60 kilometers an hour. Uh, and he's looking to backdoor the IS-5 who is just absolutely, slowly, methodically pumping his way around the top. And that's fine. That's fine. Because, let's be honest, if he's up there, he's not down here. And if there's one thing that the IS-5 isn't, it's a well-equipped sniper tank with a whole lot of accuracy, vim, and vigor. Look at this. What a consummate performance by the young bloke in the little lightly armored Brit wannabe. Oh. Love it. Where's that IS-5? Oh, he's trundled around the back of the map. He's finally making his presence felt. And he says, GG's. Well, no, that's not him. That's the IS-6. Is that an IS-6? That's an IS-5, isn't it? What am I going mad? Have I lost my mind? Something along those lines. It's a tank. It's got some wheels, some tracks. And bloody hell, if that 120mm hasn't absolutely missed the mark in no uncertain terms. Five kills. Give him the six. Give him the six. That's right. Top that turret off. Massive damages. And he says ace. He's pretty freaking competent. Pre pretty confident in the ace. 4,374. Very easy. Help him a buck from the Union Clan doing great things. Here we go to kill if simp. Well... Isn't that just saying so much about the world we're living in right now that that sentence even, make, even makes sense? Kill if simp! Let's make our eyes bulge and tap our head up and down like we're on a TikTok 
holiday. In the E75, E75 obviously one of the great, great heavy tanks of World of Tanks Blitz, uh, historically speaking. And this is what it does well. It goes up and it headbutts buildings. Uh, it started headbutting buildings at an early age. There's its little buddy, the Tiger II. Ooh! What is this 704 doing? Buddy, go somewhere else. You are not... What? Oh, dude, what are you doing? I think he's showing remarkable restraint here, this E75, from not just flat out yelling at his teammates. We may see him withdraw slightly around this corner in a second and start saying, hey, oh, but then again, maybe that bloke would like to come out sideways, which looks fantastic to me. Well done. I uh, When I logged in the other day to my contributor account, I got a whole bunch of stuff, a whole bunch of tanks... That I've never ever driven. Uh, one of them being the Annihilator. And I was like, dude, what what even is this? And uh, I've heard along the grapevine that it was very good. I probably won't feature it in the video, but if you do have a replay of it, I could be persuaded. I could feel my arm just... Oh, oh, you're, you're bending my arm. What was that that hit him for 429 damages? What the hell is that thing down there? Now, he's put himself in an interesting position now. They're already... Uh, even Steven, six tanks v six tanks. And he is in uh, what could best be described as an aggressive slot. Uh, there are many, many good things about the E75, but none of them mention its impervious nature to side shots. And there is a little bit of cover on the left, though, so he's okay. He's got two teammates out there doing good things. Uh, and slowly he is grinding them down from the front here. Now this is an E75. What is he thinking? Someone have a chat to that T34 and just tell him that you can't come out sideways versus anyone, especially not a tier nine heavy. Hang on, I'm just gonna have a, a sip of my licorice tea and feel good about the world. Just talk amongst yourselves. What the freaking hell is that? What's that? What's that tank there, that Emil thing? Holy ball sacks. Has someone stuck a stubborn emel on top of a track? I... I'll get back to you on that one later. He is doing good things though, isn't he? Look at him, he's aggressive, he's angled. And I like how his team has inevitably fallen to bits on the flank. He was prepped for it. He was ready for it. He was expecting it. And he's now in a position where, oh, he's seen a bat chat. Is he going to switch the HE? No, not necessary, amigo. Just cop that between the eyeballs. And that is a lot of O's in that bat chat's name. Whatever the case may be, it's two on four. Two on four, and he's already done 3.7k. The Savage, the Tiger 2 Savage, takes out the other Tiger 2. There's the Object 704 from the other team, the Red Object 704. Not to be confused with the Object 704 that was up there giving him love taps on the buttocks, saying, hey, buddy, move forward. I'm all ready to take command of this little section here. Ta-ta! And he's doing the Lord's work as he slots big-ass AP shells into the side of things. And that Tiger 2 Savage, what a beautiful bit of German pieing going on here. 2v1 now, and the uh, the other Tiger 2 has had a whale of a game at the back. Uh, I don't know if he's done big numbers. He's certainly done very, very good things here. Ooh, lovely work by the Object 252U. That tank's not overpowered, says Meezy 2019. Hashtag... Prove me wrong as the Tiger 2 Savage pushing up on the left here and the E75. Now, this looks like an easy, firm hold from the E75. Killer Simp. Uh, and you'd expect everything to go well here. 252U, though, he's uh, certainly angling towards the Savage and the Savage is taking a beating. I'm not sure if he understands the hold command. He's copped another 120 right through the dial and he is a fair bit ahead and chasing chasing glory as a 252u backs it up now the savage has to be careful here oh he's happy to eat one here oh track track broken savage don't do it savage has done it yeah he, savage listen i don't know how to tell you this mate we all saw that we've read this book from cover to cover and we've read it before we've uh the only problem you're going to have here is one you're hitting a lot of tracks two you're going to struggle to get the gun down Oh, should have probably uh, just not chatted there. Rather, just uh, started shooting more. He needs to hit a great hatch shot. He does. Never doubted him. Kill his simp. What a wonderful player. What a beautiful human being he is. Ah, uh, and he looks like he's got this one on toast, on buttery hot toast, bronzed up on one side, and probably a little bit white or uh, or wholemeal on the other. 
Thanks very much for watching. Remember to send your videos through to bushkagaming at gmail.com. Just send the replay file and I'll do the rest.